This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge and also have some experience playing the game. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. Welcome to Simon's Quest. As you move through Transylvania, talk to everyone in all the towns. Do this by pressing the B button when you reach someone. Remember that sometimes they will not tell you the truth. Good luck. Magic items are a key to this game. But you must have hearts to buy them. For example, this crystal costs 50 hearts. Let's go collect hearts first. You can stand here for a long time and collect hearts. Then return to Jova and buy what you need. Go in all open doors in each town. Holy water breaks walls and floors to reveal secret passages. Check your cartridge manual. This is a useful weapon. After you leave Jova, you'll work your way back through the woods to Veros. As you travel around, make yourself a map. It will be invaluable. You can use your start button to check your multi-screen. Simon has 126 hearts, a thorn whip, a white crystal, and holy water. In Veros, you can rejuvenate your life in the church. Continue to check all rooms. Do we have holy water? Yes. We'll try the floor. Nothing here. Now the wall. Here's a passage. Here's a hidden passage down. From Veros, we make our way to Berkeley Mansion. Turn right here. Welcome to Berkeley Mansion. Here we'll find Dracula's rib and three of our 13 clues. Break bricks in the walls to look for them. Work your way up here. The chain whip is very helpful. Keep working your way up back and forth. Here's an example of a clue in a brick. Continue to collect weapons and clues. Your first missing Dracula piece. From here we head to Dennis Woods. Keep checking as you go along.
The sacred flame is a powerful weapon. In every town, there's a signpost to help you keep your bearings. Hold the blue crystal and the silver knife and kneel here. That will open the secret passage. We're at the mansion of Lauber. Use holy water at dead ends. If the water goes through bricks, you can too. After checking out the mansion from bottom to top, Simon's after Dracula's heart. Now we must work our way back to Aldera, but we have to go all the way back to Jova, and this time leave town in the opposite direction. Show the boatman Dracula's rib and he'll take you to Aldera. Talk to everyone here because one person will exchange your crystals. We're in Sadem Woods. Take the lower path to the graveyard for a silk bag. Be careful. Then continue on to Diana. You'll leave once to gather more weapons and clues before continuing back to the Dead River. We're back at the Dead River. Show Dracula's heart and we're off for Brahms Mansion. But first, you must battle the Grim Reaper. Good luck. We're on our way to Deborah Cliff for the diamond. Next, return to the Dead River, take the boat to Aldra, and go through the two towns to Jam Wasteland. Go to the cliffside of the Wasteland and kneel while holding the red crystal and the silver knife. The tornado will blow you to Bodley Mansion. In Bodley Mansion, you should carry Dracula's eye. It will reveal a clue to Dracula's riddle. Here you will get Dracula's nail. We're on our way to the lake. Kneel with the red crystal and the silver knife, and this path will take you to Uda Path. Here you must find the man to turn your whip into the flame whip. 
and you'll need laurels to get across the marsh to Rover Mansion. In Rover Mansion, you'll battle Vampira. You must kill Vampira to receive the cross. While here, you'll find another clue to Dracula's riddle and Dracula's ring. You can find more laurels in the mansion if you need them. When you leave here, go past Bodley Mansion. In the woods beyond, you'll find the last clue to Dracula's riddle. Keep Dracula's eye out. Take the lower path to the bridge to Dracula's castle. Fight your way through this graveyard and cross Dracula's bridge. You must have all of Dracula's body parts and the cross to go over the bridge. Now you must find Dracula. Good hunting! And good luck! Get the power to move with the Acclaim wireless remote for your Nintendo Entertainment System. The Acclaim remote gets you mobile in a WrestleMania grudge match. Flying Airwolf, the Acclaim remote's rapid fire mode means higher scores per mission. In the battle for Iron Sword, seconds count. So you need a controller with a look and feel you already know. Accurate up to 30 feet. The official wireless remote controller licensed by Nintendo, created by Acclaim. Get the Acclaim remote, the power to move. If an enemy commando drops his knife, pick it up. Grab special items like these brass knuckles. They make you punch better. When he's down, stand over him and kick or punch so he can't get up. When you stand over by these boxes, you can fight one enemy at a time. When you're rid of the first one, keep the second guy just where you can hit him. When these soldiers walk past you, watch it. Some of them carry bombs. When this opponent drops down behind you, get him right away. He'll go down with one punch. This guy will grab back his gun if you don't get it first, then knock him with it. Just ignore the man throwing grenades. When the enemies jump out of the helicopter, grab their bombs and throw them at the copter. Be careful when you knock these guys down, they'll run back at you. If you put your back against the wall and punch, they can't get you from behind. Watch out for this cycle. Dodge off to the side. If you move through here slowly, you won't have to fight as many of these green berets at one time. You can knock this bike soldier off, but get out of the way before the cycle explodes. Stay away from the right side here, or the goon's bomb will get you.
Don't stop to fight here, just walk through. Punch facing one way. The frogmen will come up behind you and you can turn and get them. Try to stay to the left here and let them come to you. You'll beat the captain of the goons by running and high kicking. Stay right here. They can't get you. When this goon throws three grenades into the water, that's your chance to run for it. Go into this cave to get more life points. This is Angel. Just keep punching at him until he falls. Don't worry about using up all ten of your bullets on this roof. You can get another gun soon. The soldier with no hat will try to sneak up behind you. Don James is hard to beat, but a gun works well against him. To get through this rough fire, just run as fast as you can. Stay on the edge here, and the bike soldiers can't get you. Stay in the corner. Let them come to you. Go in here to extend your life. You've got to be in just the right position to get these guys. If you don't have your gun when you meet General Snivel, you're in for a very rough fight. With a gun, he's easy. This is a lot like fighting in the helicopter scene. Punch the men with the bombs, then bomb the tank. Get as many knives here as you can. You'll need them for the next group of soldiers. At last, the leader. When he jumps, dodge and keep high kicking. He'll go down, but he's not through yet. When you really want to get into the game, get Tengen RBI Baseball. The only video game licensed by the Major League Baseball Players Association for your Nintendo. It's you and the pros for Roger Clemens here. Flash Vince Coleman the steal sign. Let Gibson swing for the fences. It's going, going, go! RBI Baseball, the one the pros pitch. In Strider, you have to rescue your kidnapped friend Kane, and also find keys and message discs located in different countries. After you find each item, you return to your Blue Dragon base to transport to a new location. The game begins in Strider Headquarters, Kazakh. Get the key to Section 1 by defeating this robot. Take a shortcut and drop down here. Jump from platform to platform and kill the heli soldiers. Here's your first disc.
This agent in Section 1 will give you another disc. Go back to your base and analyze them. Now transfer to Egypt on the Phantom Train. Most of the enemies leave power pills behind, so pick them up if you need them. The only enemy that's hard to defeat here is the robot at the end of the train. The trick is to attack it from behind. After crossing the Phantom Train, go over this pyramid and enter it on the right. Start working your way up here and over to the left to search for the Aqua Boots. When you're looking for the Aqua Boots, Jump for the ramp instead of straight down. If you miss the ramp, you end up in this dungeon where there's only one exit. And this chute takes you back to the beginning. Here's where you find your first boots. You can go back and cross the water safely. Just past the water is the hardest triangle jump of the entire game. Keep trying. The second key lies near the top of the ledge. Back on Kazakh, find Kane in Section 2 and receive the third disc. The third disc sends you to Japan, where you can easily defeat the samurai and get the fourth disc in Plasma Arrow. Don't waste any time getting to China. Jump off this ledge to find the entrance to a building. Search through the building to find the magnet boots. Take this top chute to leave the building. Then return to your Blue Dragon base. With the Magnet Boots, you can go up the flashing orange walls in Section 1 of Kazakh. Find the fourth key in the room up there. Now you can return to China and go down the first chute to Section 4. You may need to get some medical points to defeat this armed fighter. Just below the second sewer you have two choices. Go to the right to find the attack boots, or left to find the third key. In Section 3 on Kazakh, take the path back to the right. You won't find anything at all on the left. These demon trees look more threatening than they are. Destroy the flying disc first, then stab the black center of the tree. Now you can go to Africa. Just avoid these crocodiles. They sink back into the swamp and let you by. Here's a tricky jump that may require some practice. The nest falls out from under you, so you have to jump fast. If you miss the limb and land next to the spiked bushes, use a jump spell to leap above them to the limb. Ride the moving platform, then jump over the robot's spark balls. Or use some spark balls of your own. You find File 6 in Africa, and the information it contains sends you to Los Angeles. If you whack Fascist Clay's glass bubble about 20 times with your sword, it breaks, and he'll give you the fifth key.
With the fifth and final key, you can go to Australia. There's a tricky jump at the beginning, though. Stand close to the right edge of the pillar before you leap. If this area looks familiar, it's because Australia connects to Africa in this game. You've taken the wrong path if you're back here again. Here's another demon tree, but it's no harder to kill than the others. And when it's destroyed, you earn the right to go to the Red Dragon base. This is a tricky spot at the Red Dragon base. Watch out for the beams and pick up speed for your jumps. Then take the right hand shoot. To send this enemy into a spin, hit him with your sword while he's in mid-air. Several well-placed blows while he's spinning will defeat him. Don't forget to jump over him when he spins toward you, though. Now you have to destroy two computer systems. But along the way, you once again meet all of the worst enemies from the countries you've been to. Climb these walls outside the building to find the first computer room. These computers are surprisingly easy to destroy. You finally meet Matic after many enemies. Use your plasma arrows to blast him. When the arrows knock his sword out of his hands, he backs up to retrieve it, giving you plenty of firing room. Once he's defeated, you just have to kill one final tree to win the game. Supersonic is the number one bet. It's got no wise, it's a one to get. Arcade action is where you'll be. Supersonic will set you free. No wires. It works with Nintendo, it will do. Games for players one and two. Higher scores is what you'll see. Supersonic will set you free. No wires. Supersonic. Blow up this building to get the Vulcan cannon. It's one of your best weapons. The shots from the sub will spread out, so stay to the right and they'll go past you. You don't need to use your bomber here. While you're in the air, the soldiers can't hit you. Get them while you can. Stay on this deck and you won't encounter as many enemies. Until one of their bullets goes off the screen, these soldiers can't shoot again. Remember too that you can run over these enemies. You've got to take out the guns and the engines of this gunship. You'll find weapons and extra players when you blow up buildings, but you can also take cover behind them too. Some cactus you can blow up, some you can't. Be careful you don't get trapped behind one you can't get rid of. Stay near the middle of the screen.
jump when you can. Nothing can hit you then. That's especially useful against these choppers. Don't forget that these pillboxes will shoot at you from the rear. Stay left along here. You can get an extra bomb plus a Vulcan cannon. Get to the far left at the start of any bonus area. You'll get more extras that way. If you don't have any extra weapons, stay to the side of the screen here and watch out for the bullets. They're hard to see. You can eliminate these missiles before they're fired, but be prepared to dodge them. You'll now face the subs again. You can either blow them up or wait until the screen starts moving and then go to the right and just go past them. Now try to blow up anything that can be blown up. Buildings, cactus, anything. You never know what valuables you'll find. You'll want to get rid of these infantry installations as fast as you can. They keep sending out enemies, and they're worth a lot of points. Here's a dual cannon, a very powerful weapon. Remember, don't get trapped. Now you have to decide which weapon to give up. These rocket launchers turn on you. Try to get to the upper part of the screen so they'll have a tougher time aiming at you.
Get this powerful dual cannon on the left. Don't go up the side unless you have a side cannon. Rocket launchers can pop right up in front of the gate. You'll have to shoot your way through. These mines will force you to the side, but watch out, enemy soldiers will appear. Here's the nuclear power plant. Draw the sniper's fire by moving from left to right. You've got to get each sniper. Pull their fire to the right, then move left while shooting at them. Leave the middle snipers for last. If you don't accomplish your mission quickly enough, helicopters will appear, and then you're in real trouble. If you like this game tape, you'll love Game Player's Pro Tip Hotline. Now you can hear the tips you want to know just by pushing a button on your telephone. To hear this tip again, press 1. For another game tip, press 2. For our classic tips, press 3. Each week, our Game Player's experts choose the best hints and tips for three hot games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just dial and select which secrets you want to hear. Every week, we'll change the games and the hints. Try it today. To make a run at the championship, select the Hulkster. His combination of speed and strength make him tough to beat. Your first opponent will be the Million Dollar Man, but he's no match for Hulk Hogan. He'll even try running away from you. Trap him in a corner and he's putty in your hands. Do not try to corner your second opponent, Bam Bam Bigelow. He gets nasty. In fact, let him corner you, then pummel him with a barrage of elbow smashes. Try to lure Bam Bam into a corner. You can then leap on the turnbuckle for a drop kick. The Honky Tonk Man is aggressive and unrelenting. You'll need to use kicks to maintain a safe distance. When a wrestler turns red, it means he's mad. It also means his attacks become more fierce, so don't let up. Most of the wrestlers have one move they can use when facing away from their opponent. Hulk has the elbow smash. Use this move to get out of jams. A few more kicks and Hulk Hogan is 3-0. Your fourth match is against a tough Randy Savage. Try to get Macho Man to come up behind you. You can then unload your elbow smash. Watch the bottom fall out of Savage's energy meter. Savage has an elbow smash of his own, and he'll use it like a hammer. So stay out of his reach with kicks, and victory will soon be yours. Andre the Giant is your biggest challenge, literally. He weighs in at 520 pounds and stands 7 feet 4 inches tall. Keep him at bay with a variety of kicks. Andre's main weapons are the big foot kick and the swipe. Because of his constant pursuit, the back elbow smash is vital. Win all five bouts and the heavyweight championship of the world is yours. If you enjoyed this great game tape, you'll really enjoy Game Players Magazine. Every exciting issue is packed full of hints, tips, and playing strategies, just like the ones on this game tape. 
you can order a Dream subscription to both Game Player's Guide to Nintendo Games and Game Player's Magazine. A total of 18 awesome issues today for only $39.95. Don't miss another issue. If you want to play to win, call today, 1-800-458-4145. Call now. Our operators are ready. Remember, this number is for subscription orders only. That's 1-800-458-4145. The Dream Subscription for Nintendo Game Players.